way this is uh, packaged, it's packaged as a very uh, consumer friendly product, like yep. ready to go out the box with no upgrade subscriptions, no nothing. Um, and the way the way we did it out the box is we eliminated everything except uh, the phone being able to uh, work if you're paired to a hands-free device right. and the library of your music being enabled. Okay, cool. Uh, so right out the box, all these options are disabled. Internet, uh, text messaging, emails, camera, and other apps like uh, you know, Pandora and things like that. Uh, main reason behind it is you know try to get as many distracted uh, apps off the phone and uh, give very little use to the phone while in motion. And you know, we figured if you're paired to a hands-free device that will allow it to pass through. If you're not paired to a hands-free device, the phone shuts down as well for you know, uh, phone call purposes. Now, um, uh, is there any other specific questions? What about this guy and then the, what you, you know, the administrator would see when they log in online? Okay, so basically, um, out the box, the only thing you're going to be doing is you're going to uh, you're going to activate it online. And if you see right here along the bottom, the activation code comes along the bottom. Yep. So if you go online, there's a uh, home screen. You plug in the um, the admin username. You plug in the phone number uh, to the uh, device that you plan on sending the app to. Yep. And then uh, uh, you register it. Okay. Uh, you're registered at that point, I should say. Um, the text message then goes to the phone that was uh, assigned to be driving the vehicle. Uh, as soon as the vehicle, uh, well, as soon as the text message comes in, uh, it down, uh, you, you have the option to download the app. You download the app, it runs in the background. Um, That's and cool. it's communicating via Bluetooth to the trigger itself. Yeah. So this is plugged into the vehicle and the uh, phone is communicating uh, with the device via Bluetooth. Now. There's been questions like, oh, hey, well, what if I don't have my Bluetooth on, or right. do I have to carry it at all times? So, the, what, what the app is in charge of doing is going in the, at the OS level and enabling the Bluetooth, even if it's off. The second the ignition comes on, it wakes the Bluetooth up on the trigger, and uh, it sends a Bluetooth command to it, and it says, ignition's awake. Uh, all I'm waiting for is a, a, a speed pulse to know that I'm in motion and I'm going to lock out your phone. So as soon as it goes into motion, it locks out the phone. And I, I have the simulator here to simulate that process. So I just turned on the ignition. Um, I'm not in motion. So we're okay. I'm, the phone's unlocked. The second I start gassing up, locks out the phone here. So, Right out of the box, it's like that. That's awesome. We do have a what we call the policy upgrade, yeah. and what that allows you to do is have more flexibility on what's enabled and disabled. Okay. The other option that it, one of the main things, in my opinion, is the reporting backend that we that we've enabled. So, what we've been able to achieve with the reporting end is we can say we can see we're looking for events, not data. We're just looking for events. Um, I can I can keep track of how many text messages were blocked during the course of the vehicle in motion. Cool. So that right there alone tells you like, hey dad, yeah. six hundred text messages were blocked this month while the vehicle was in motion. You know, uh, the other thing it'll track is uh, average speed, uh, mileage for the month, uh, hard acceleration, hard deceleration. So it kind of it gets a feel of how aggressive of a driver you are. Yeah. You know. Uh, and you can then take that report and go to the insurance company and say, hey, look, this is what's going on. My, my team has this in the car. What kind of discounts do you have available? So it just opens up you know, a lot more uh, possibilities to get a little pricing breakdowns. But I mean, teenage drivers' insurance policies are really so very And so that, that's part of that premium, the premium package? Yes, and that's $49 for the year. Okay, very good. Nice. It's, it's $4.99 a month. Or forty nine for the year. Yes, it is. And this, the uh, the uh, main reason for the uh, policy upgrade is because we have to. You're then using server space, and in order for us to capture all that data and manage it in a readable environment, you know, we we had to opt into a policy upgrade version, and we didn't want to burden the cost into something that could easily be plug and play and work without the service upgrade. You know? 
So right out the box, no subscription no, no, no. needed. The policy is strictly a, uh, a preference. Yes, shipping now.